Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained. Uh, I am DM Bloodworth, and as you can see, this is episode 24, Channel News uh, episode. And this is brought to you by uh, On Screen Gaming, OSG, which is my Facebook community, you know, as well as uh, Crown City Con, which is a uh, gaming convention coming up on, as you can see the graphic, uh, it's coming up, it's in, uh, it's in Cortland, New York. It's coming up on the weekend of September 22nd and 23rd of this year. So just, uh, you know, less than, less than about six weeks away. And uh, one of the things that I'm really looking forward to this convention is that it's a, it's really my first games convention I've been to in over 30 years. Uh, the last one I went to was Gen Con 18 back in 1985. So it's been, it's been quite a long time uh, since I've gone to a convention. And, and this is the first convention that I will be uh, DMing at. I'm also volunteering at it as well, or I should say GMing. Um, but it is also the first, uh, the first convention that I'm volunteering at, and uh, I will be there you know, Friday night doing the setup and then all weekend long. And then uh, I'll have the next day, the, the Monday off. And so, you know, I'll be able to fully dedicate that entire weekend to uh, hoping that this thing pulls off uh, extremely well. So as you can see by the graphics, uh, I'm actually I'm actually planning on three four hour gaming sessions. Uh, one session will be for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, uh, first edition, and that uh, that adventure is. And I don't want to reveal too much, but that adventure is kind of a it's it's you know strongly inspired by Robert E. Howard's. Uh, Pigeons in Hell, uh, stor short story. Then, uh, keeping along my Robert E. Howard theme, I'm going to have two game sessions of um, of Robert E. Howard's Conan, uh, which is a RPG two D twenty system put out by Mod Modifius, and that's a uh, you know those two sessions. One is one is kind of you know it's built on the process of of the player character group uh being pressed for time to reach a certain objective and uh as they are passing through the you know the very cold wilderness areas of asgard uh they're going to be hampered by um you know various challenges both uh both natural challenges uh, such as you know, terrain and, and temperature, you know, weather conditions and such. And then also, obviously, you know, uh, it is a Conan story. So, um, you know, obviously they'll, they'll be having, uh, you know, their opposition trying to prevent them from getting to their ultimate goal. The third adventure that I had planned was also a Conan 2D20 system and, uh, that adventure is putting them on the other side of the Hyborian, uh, the Hyborian map, and there they are, you know, once again trying to traverse a, a large expanse of land without attracting too much attention to, you know, get themselves to safety, and um, and then of course, obviously, uh, they're going to get sidetracked from their you know, from their safety bubble there and, uh, and end up going on a, a pretty action packed and, uh, and potentially dangerous, uh, adventure. Uh, and, and hopefully they will, you know, survive as long as they, you know, keep their heads clear and they, you know, maintain their momentum because that will help them get through that game, uh, or that adventure, you know, pretty well. My backup, I, I'm working on an adventure for Bushido RPG, and uh, that's my backup adventure in case, you know, no one is, uh, no one is signed up for, you know, one of the other of the three adventures, and they'd prefer to play Bushido. And the adventure that I designed for the Bushido RPG is, uh, you know, is inspired by a scene from the TV series. Um, and it's the, 
it's it's inspired by the pheasant scene where um where the the outsider uh onchi san uh hangs a pheasant and uh one of the one of the peasants uh you know of the village uh takes the pheasant down because he found it to be you know uh offensive you know to his you know senses to have it there but there was a great you know a great uh, dishonor having been given and so he is to be executed you know and um Ojitan is is kind of upset by the possibility that this man is going to lose his life over you know a slight of him but it was also a slight of the uh you know of the host uh samurai and so uh I I took that scene and I developed an adventure that's that's loosely based on that scene but it, but it is really the that's the very start of the adventure. So I'm actually half hoping to run that one uh, as well. Uh, if there's any opportunity to do four gaming sessions during the during the weekend, then I may or I might swipe out, swap out one of the Conan adventures for the Bushido if that's uh, if that's a better way for it to work out for the uh, you know for the con. So. Once again, it's uh, it's Central New York's ultimate tabletop gaming convention, the Crown City Con. That's at Cortland, uh, in Cortland, New York, September's twenty second and twenty third, two thousand and eighteen. Uh, it's a Saturday and Sunday. Um, there was a whole slew of uh, a whole slew of events scheduled for it, so. You can always go to Crown City, uh, crowncitycon.com and get more information. There's also a Facebook page for it that you can also look into. So uh, in the meantime, uh, you have a good week. Come on, on up. If you're uh, new to the channel, please subscribe and uh, hit, the, uh, hit the thumbs up if you like the uh, video. And also uh, hit the, you know, hit the uh, bell so that you'll get additional uh, notification when I put up new videos. I'll have several coming up today. As well, double check the, uh, you know, double check uh, the cons, you know, the con schedule. Uh, if you are going to be in the New York area for that weekend, then, you know, I certainly recommend coming out to the convention and, and get in some, some really good uh, playing time. So in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. I look forward to seeing you on the uh, gaming screen sometime, you know, very soon, and you'll have a good evening.